Good morning angels, how are you? I'm saying morning because it's morning where I am but it might be afternoon or evening or night time for you so whatever it is, hello. Showing off my gorgeous flowers that Rob got me. Okay, let's have a little chat. On the last vlog, I closed it off. Um, we were in the middle of the ensuite decoration. I struggled so much. I've painted that bathroom now one, two, three times, three times. Finally this morning, I woke up at half eight and I just cracked on. I went and found some paint that I thought was gonna match and it did match, thank goodness. Well, it's starting to look better and I feel much more calm because I was really panicking yesterday. I was like, I'm not gonna get this done, it doesn't look right, I'm gonna have to start again, like I'm gonna have to change the whole color scheme. Yeah, I actually really love it now. I so totally love it. The only thing that I need to do, the accessories that I got for the bathroom initially don't quite go, so I'm gonna go to the shops now, I'm gonna go to Dunelm, Next Home, TK Maxx, Home Sense, and Ikea, 20 past 10, so I'm not gonna get back till this afternoon till probably about two after all that shopping i'm literally going in making a beeline having a look around if i don't have what i don't have i'm going i need to find see this color wood here this is the perfect color wood that i want for the accents in the room the wood that i've got is more of an orangey like it's not this orange but you know the sort of wood that i mean it's more this vibe and i need it this vibe so one option is to whitewash what i already have which if i don't find anything else i will have to try and do but i feel like i must be able to find something i must be able to get my crumpets which i've put down two times now because i keep forgetting about them put them down a third time whack some jam on it head out to the shops come back and then um hopefully today we'll be finished hopefully right, i'm just getting ready to go to the gym i'm sorry if it feels like i'm talking about the gym so much now i'm not turning into like a fitness channel it's just want to share a bit more of my life with you guys you know it's what i get up to day to day and i think that's the only way that i'm going to be able to get like consistent vlogs out because it's not every day that I'm like DIYing so if I share random little bits of my day with you then that's a bit better. I'm having a cup of tea, it's 9.40, I had a rough night's sleep for some reason but I just thought instead of just sitting in bed on my phone which is what I was starting to do, I was on my phone for about about a good 40 minutes on TikTok and stuff, I was like no you need to go to the gym. Right, it's my brother's graduation tomorrow, shout out to my brother for getting a first class degree, you already know what it is. I just want to get an exercise in today because I know that I'm not going to be exercising tomorrow. I've got to get up at like 4.30 a.m. to travel down to Lincoln. I'm just really proud of him and that this day has come. I'm honestly so proud of my brother. He's smashing life. Anyway, I don't know if you knew that I had a brother, but I've got a little brother. But anyway, I'm going to head out to the gym now. I am packing up to go down to Lincoln. I ended up buying my brother just a little something to say well done on his graduation. I was really stuck on what to get him, so I actually had to just ring him and just say like, what do you want? He was like, just buy me like a t-shirt or something. And I was like, no, I want to get you something that's a little bit more special that you can keep for a while. He's been trying to build a watch collection. If it makes him happy, then it makes me happy. Which I need to remember to bring with me. So this needs to stay right next to everything I'm packing. So I've got like a nice outfit to wear. It's this Because of Alice suit so ignore the red that's in there i'm actually gonna be wearing it with this white bodysuit and then it's like a sage green suit and i just wanted like a really nice bracelet so i ended up getting these bracelets from h&m i also got my nails done the girl next to me was getting hers painted at the time i paid for a manicure i was gonna just go white tips classic and then i saw hers and i was like she'd done this hand the blue with a pink hand pink's not really me it's like you know what it's my birthday and i can be plain and boring or i can go bold so i ended up doing these tips so this is a green hand like a really dark green into some more fun colors and then a white it starts the white here and it goes into some fun colors i got them a bit longer than i usually would again because it's my birthday if you didn't know i've been wanting some leggings going out for quick errands lounging or long car journeys airport vibes lounging i always think cream leggings look so comfy i picked these up from h&m they were 17.99 they feel relatively stretchy but they still feel snug which is good and they've got this really nice lining down them if you can see that I've been really being that great with my skin so i ended up just kind of saying okay you know what i'm just gonna go back to my old skincare routine and it's never it hasn't done me wrong for months and months my skin was perfectly clear it's still good don't get me wrong i'm not bashing it at all it's just um some little imperfections i can see starting to creep back in so i ran out of my dermalogica um skin special cleansing gel this is the fourth time repurchasing this now every time in between i think it's a little bit pricey. I'm going to try something else and see if I find something that I like. And I always regret it. I genuinely always regret it. It just makes my skin mwah. And when I use it with the other Dermalogica products, I don't know what it is. It just 
works and I don't want to skimp out on that anymore so I rebought it I need to go to sleep so that I can wake up and have a good decent sleep tomorrow so anyway that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you in the morning several days later the next station is Arminster I'm really sorry if this train is really super loud as well, um, but this is the first time I've had to catch up with you in about a week and a half. So I ended up going down to Lincoln, me and Rob woke up at half four in the morning and we drove down at half five in the morning and then came back up to Newcastle. It was me and my brother's birth uh, me and Rob's birthday. We opened some presents with my mum and dad the day before in Lincoln and my brother and then we came up to Newcastle and we just had our birthday day in Newcastle, really chilled. Me and Rob went to another rooftop place called 360 in Newcastle, which we hadn't been to. It was really nice, um, quite expensive, but worth going at least once for the view. My friends came up on Friday just gone, so it's now Wednesday. So Friday just gone, my friends came up. We had the most amazing night out weekend. I just felt so spoiled with love again with them. Just good vibes, positivity. My girls are just so positive and make me feel good. And one of them is a makeup artist, so she did my makeup and I felt bomb. Then I came down to London on the train for four hours from Newcastle, had to get across to Essex. This is where I am now. I'm on my way to a Dunelm event. People are getting on the train and I'm scared, so I will see you at the Dunelm event. Wow. Say hi! <laughs> I've interrupted her thing oh. twice. <laughs> I didn't even realise she was talking. <laughs> Take three. Oh. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go out. can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times morning oh did i talk to you on the train yesterday i don't think i did on the train back i was so tired oh my gosh never been that tired in so so long came home went to sleep like asap it's now half 10 but i've been up since about nine had cocoa pops, some passion fruit and orange juice, fruit juice. Just full of sugar, but it tastes nice. I've got my iPad because I'm gonna put like a YouTube video on or something. Who else do you guys watch, by the way? I'll let you know in terms of DIY who I watch. Lone Fox. I haven't watched the Sorry Girls in a while, but it's because I don't have time. But I do like their videos. Is it Malia? Oh, I've only just started recently really watching her. Exo McKenna. Love her videos at the minute. It's like an actual program. Just the way she's doing it is perfection. Favourite DIYers. I don't think I've forgotten anyone else. And in terms of other YouTubers who I just watch when their videos are on. Jade Pierce. Uh, Lydia Dinger. Annie Drea. Adiola. Patron. Nana Rose. Chunks. All the Foot Asylum videos. But yeah. Got some parcels. Some packages. Also just in a t-shirt. So I hope I'm not going to flash you. <laughs> ordered some chairs um i'm doing a bit of a room makeover not as in a makeover as such because i don't think i'm gonna paint anything i'm also just gonna move things around i've realized like this room the dining room is gorgeous i love it right but we don't use it as a dining room the last time we used this dining room table apart from putting stuff on was christmas last year and it's now september the 16th been used once in about two years and i'm really not exaggerating with that being said I've got my uh, tools, I'm just building, I'm gonna watch something on the side. Nobody told me to settle down Day nights and late nights don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I'm gonna have to dismantle this dining table. Now, if you've been here for a while, you will remember when I bought this table and I did it all up, I painted it black. I love it so much and I'm sad to be getting rid of it. I just need more space. But a project like this, I don't mind passing on to someone else, either selling it on or giving it to family or friends or a charity shop or someone that needs it because it wasn't difficult for me to do. I literally paid for the table, 25 pounds, I think. Painted it in a couple of days. It was one of those projects which is really easy, so I know I can do that again in the future. I'm gonna dismantle it now. And um, we're going to say goodbye to it. It's the end of an era, but it needs to be done. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only.
my darlings it's the next day i kind of left you yesterday because my battery died and if i'm being honest i didn't have the capacity to go and change it and carry on filming filming when i'm trying to do stuff is like just an added stress that i don't need so it is the next day and i am in the middle of getting some stuff done you can probably see sneak peek things happening behind me yeah i just thought let me carry on because i feel like i'm about to do some stuff that like might be fun to watch hopefully i've had the worst start to the day ever like i haven't had this much of a bad start to the day in a very long time just some stuff's happened and it's really gotten me down but instead of letting it get me down i'm trying to just move past it and i think i touched on this in a, in a previous video or something like that but when i feel like rubbish you guys always say like how do you always have the energy to do diy or do anything or motivation and stuff and for me personally i don't always feel like that and this today is a really good example of that i felt really upset this morning i've cried and instead of just sitting down and watching netflix all day like which i probably would usually do i thought you know what go in the shower, put your hair back, put some makeup on, put some perfume on, get a nice outfit on that you feel comfortable in and crack on with the day because who's waiting for you? No one. What is really the benefit of just watching Netflix all day? Whereas if I do this, kind of distracting myself slash doing something really productive. I basically want to show you this. I, I would have showed you this probably about a year ago when I first got this rug. I wanted to find a way to stick it to the floor without it moving. So a lot of the time when you get rugs, they kind of crinkle and I do have some examples so I'll show you. If you lay a rug down, sometimes they get these crinkles in them and you can't help it but it's very annoying if you're trying to get like a beautifully flat rug for your centerpiece coffee table and it's not it's just crinkling underneath and it looks like it's really messy this has been down now for a good year and a bit actually so it's doing really really well but a new rug to put down this one's just kind of not the color that i want it to be you will see that in order to keep this rug in place what i used to do or what i did rather i stuck it down with double-sided sticky tape now this tape is i'm pretty sure that i got it from something like b&m and it's a carpet tape and i think it's meant to stick like carpet to hard floor as in like rug carpet to hard floor but i didn't realize and i just stuck it to the floor floor um so this is the time that's come now to see if it's going to rip up all of my carpet underneath oh okay so what i'm going to do is take this all up oh my god my entire look i'm moving you the camera because the carpet underneath doesn't even feel like it's stuck to the floor properly great <laughs> but this rug is absolutely fine Oh, I wish I could clean it first before bringing it up, but it's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it, roll it, and I'm actually getting storage. I'm going to um, buy some storage space and keep some stuff in there for like the future home. Because stuff like this, if you're like me and you like changing your house out a lot, it seems like it's a bit of a waste of time and money to constantly be buying stuff and then changing it out when you get bored. But I don't want to do that. The things that I buy, I really would love to see in a future forever home. So fingers crossed won't be like too long. We'll be in the next year or so. So basically I'm going to pay for storage and see how long I can hold on to stuff for. And then I can't wait to see it all in the future. So far, it's actually okay. I mean, it's not pulling loads and loads and loads of carpet out. I thought I would be left with like a really bad mess, but I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of pulled baby, baby fibres out of the carpet. Probably looks quite a lot on the camera, but it's really not actually. It's not bad at all. So I'm going to lift the rest of those up. Ow. So I'm going rip, to rip, rip the rest of these up and then um, put the new one down. Where I hoover around the rug, I've always noticed there's quite a lip around the rug where it then meets the carpet and I always think there must be trapped dirt and dust underneath there. Can you see all of that? Like, can you see it here? A bit better over here. So that's kind of been laid underneath the rug so I've not been able to get to it as such. So I'm going to be so happy to now hoover and actually pick up all of the extra dust that just settles underneath the rug. You can see where, you can see where it's um, been pulled up from the carpet. By the way, for the first time ever, I have shopped with AliExpress and I must say, I'm very impressed. I bought these glasses. I kept seeing someone on TikTok using them to make their like coffees in the morning. This is just a Diet Coke, but I was like, they're really cute. I really like them. So I managed to pick these up for like 70p or one pound each or something like that. They have very good quality. I just gave them a rinse out and they're absolutely fine. So 
AliExpress. I also ordered a couple of other things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a ordering home decor from AliExpress video soon. If you would like to see that, let me know down in the comments and let me know what sort of things you would want me to buy. Like, do you want to see more vases? Do you want to see things like tableware and glassware, bath mats and rugs? What sort of things do you think that you would be happy to buy from AliExpress that you want me to try first to see if it's like legit and how good of a price you can get it from? Walking into my office and I was like, all of my clothes from the weekend, old, like PR packages everywhere. Just, it just doesn't feel good. And then these prints on the wall are actually just doing my head in now. This doesn't even have anything in it. Neither does this one. Why I've made this space so chaotic actually just drives me insane when I come in here now. So let's tidy. Let's have a little bit of a tidy montage, shall we? In three, two, one. And I think if you if you discipline yourself throughout a Monday to Friday, you should have your weekends. Yeah. Like, have your now weekend. that I'm completely disciplined myself, my weekends are amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you feel fresh on a Monday because right. you're like, I had a great weekend. Right. Tidying up a little bit. Bedding sheets from Dusk. I love Dusk. If you've ever wondered in any of my videos or on my Instagram where I get my bedding, it's from Dusk and you can get, I think it's 15% off if you use code Sade15. Just really love their bedding. It's um, lasted me a long time. I've had some of my bedding sets for like two years now and they feel brand new, especially because they're like really high thread count. So they just feel really luxe and they don't go thin and bitty. And they definitely don't do that thing. You know when sheets tend to like get bobbly on the inside and you can feel it when you lay in them? I hate that feeling and these don't do that at all. So I've heard H&M do really nice bedding though I haven't had a chance to try anything yet. I pray to the Lord. I rise to the Lord. Gonna greet the Lord. I pray to the Lord. Fatu mata jambele Everything been safe again now Everything for your jambele Oh jambele what is this weather? Like I now need to do my monthly trip to the tip because i've had a lot of packages recently that just got boxes galore i didn't show you my office tidied it's now not tidy but actually i'll show you one thing that is tidy look at my shelves this was a hot mess previously i've wiped every single shelf wiped down all the decor put everything where it needs to be the only part of it that i don't like is this this is still messy but this is all my perfumes and stuff that i use day to day i'm gonna buy more of these baskets from ikea i did like the look where it's like one two one two one two but i think i might just get the bottom two rows just full of the boxes or i'll figure it out I'll buy a couple and see how i can figure it out on top as well i also need to figure out my wardrobe space because i've just got 
boxes and things that need to go in places. I'm currently working, so excuse the mess on the desk. That needs to go in the bin. There's lots of stuff that I threw away yesterday. Got my lights set up over here, so I'm ready for the YouTube videos, my darlings. And then all of these frames I've taken down from here. This now feels much more clean and open. The whole room actually feels bigger now that those frames are gone, but I do need to decide what to do with those because I think a couple of them I'm gonna to give to charity, a couple of them I'm gonna be keeping. Then this little moment over here, I'm not gonna lie, I love it. I've had this table for a long time now from TK Maxx. Never really had a proper place to put it. I've now decided to put it over the arm of this sofa and it really works because now I've got another little shelf place where I can put my smellies. So my brother bought me this for my birthday. Oh, thanks bro. Um, it's actually one way you can like change lights and stuff. So in the evening when I'm editing, it is such a vibe. I really, really enjoy it. And then he also got me a couple of the scents. I've got berry vanilla, which smells phenomenal. Like it reminds me of something from being a child and I don't know what, but it's bringing back good memories. And then fresh linen, which also smells very good. Yesterday as well, I burnt this candle for the first time. I think I showed you this in a few vlogs. A few vlogs ago, Molly the Maid by Mysa Candle Company. Very, very good burn. Look at that clean burn all the way to the edges. So far, really enjoying that candle. I'm actually gonna put the lid back on it because it's very cute bamboo vibe. Anyway, I wanted to show you all the stuff that I need to take to the tip and then I need to take it to the tip. So there's honestly so much stuff. Can you see around that corner? There's so much and there's like, it's all wet and soggy now. Because it's been raining, it's all wet and soggy now. So anyway, I'm gonna go take that all to the car tip and then that's another job done. And I just feel a little bit on top of the world, you know? So anyway, let me go and continue this. If it's motivation for you, get out and do some work. Get something done productive do two things today that you feel like will really change how you feel tomorrow if you get them done today you can do it well i'm back and i've made a purchase so i wanted to show you i've got two olive trees to plant that i got a few weeks ago and i need to plant them before i just totally lack any enthusiasm to do so this is a gorgeous heritage garden pottery um plant pot that I bought a while ago for the inside of the house however however I just don't have um, a plant to put it inside the house and I think it's gonna look really nice with the olive tree in I went to um, a nearby garden center today and I found this plant pot they did have the heritage ones but not this style I would have gone for the exact same kind of like shape and size and color so that they were matching it's starting to rain this is kind of like a, a deep shall we say it says on it, Blossom Orchid Gardens. I got double the size for half the price. I'm pretty sure I paid 40 quid for this. This is 50 quid RRP, uh, 24 quid 99 because it was on sale. Sorry, the wind, I just need to put everything in the garage because there's just not enough room for all of this stuff in there in the garden and the wind is just being horrible at the minute so anyway we're going to put the massive one in here the six foot in this one and the five foot in this one i bought some compost as well some peat free premium all-purpose compost i don't know why i just bought it because it said miracle grow on and to me that's quite a good brand no other better one to use put it in the comments so that people can refer to it in the future i put these in here and then i'll put the plant as soon as it gets like quite close to the top because i want it to have room to kind of um, grow olive tree. So if I take it out of the base, pop it there. So I can put a little bit more compost down and then I'm gonna fill it and pack more compost all around it and fill it to the top, make sure it's really like compacted. And then I'm gonna give it some plant food on top. So I'm just making a little, you know when you make a cake and you make a dip in the middle to pour in your, your wet ingredients into dry, that's what I've done there. And my mum taught me this trick that um, you kind of crumble the base of the roots of a an already po potted plant. I don't know, I think it helps the roots to kind of like then grow properly and um, because they're kind of like looser and freer. So I'm just going to really carefully, without trying to like break loads of the roots, do that. I'm going to push this bamboo all the way down into the soil as well to hold it up more. That looks good. Sorry guys, my camera battery just died, so I'm gonna have to do it on the phone. So getting all the way down the sides, so it's really filled in. I've got no wiggle room. I just bought some plant food in the garden center. So I'm gonna add a little capsule, capsule, cupful of that to it too. Hi guys, next day. Look how 
Zen, my office is. Ignore those on the floor, they're gonna be going somewhere soon, but um, I think I showed you this yesterday. I've literally got the same setup again, but I've basically got on my little diffuser that my brother got me. I might light a candle later on. I've got some mood lighting on and some lo-fi music in the background. Probably gonna get demonetized, so I'm gonna leave the room now. But in the kitchen, because I'm about to make a, what I hope is gonna be a really fun dinner, mainly for Rob, I'm gonna make it, oh, there's a fly in here. I'm gonna make it for the both of us, hopefully, but it's basically cream cheese. And if you don't know by now, I'm not a cheesy kind of gal. This bourson, I think it's French, bourson. Um, it's a full fat soft cheese with garlic and herbs. I've got this oven proof dish. I don't think it really matters if you've got like a glass Pyrex or one like this. I'm gonna take this, the bourson. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Is it bourson? Bourson or bourson? Who knows? It's probably not even French. So I don't even know why I'm really doing that accent, but I'm gonna chuck that down in the middle. Oh, it does smell cheesy, but it smells more garlic. It smells like garlic bread, so maybe I'm gonna like it. If you can hear a noise, it's my washing machine is on. But I have been absolutely loving these. Do you remember when I got this a few vlogs back? It's a brand called Z Willing. I don't know if it's Willing or Z Willing. Ignore that, it's just a bit of like, I don't know, a bit of tomato or something on it. Um, but it's called Z Willing or Zwilling. This is so clever. So it's basically a suction pump. This is a suction cap, and then it's got like a suction um thing all around the rim of the glass container so glass containers you usually keep your food more fresh but if i were to let this one out do you hear all the air escape there it's now it can let air in so you use this to basically close it back down again and i'm not going to do the whole thing but basically it would take about 15 seconds to really airtight lock it up and it's got a qr code on and then you can use your app and then um, you can see what kind of date you've put certain things in the fridge and stuff i must admit i haven't used the app yet but I should download it really because that would be very helpful. It just does such a fantastic job of keeping everything really fresh. But anyway, 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 I'm beside myself. So I'm just gonna take these. These have already been washed. I washed everything before I put them in. I'm gonna just put them in whole like this because I saw a video that said to do that. But I also saw a video that said I need a lot more um, tomatoes than I do have. And I use the rest of the tomatoes. I have cherry tomatoes and I used the rest of those in my salad yesterday when I prepped my salad. And that's another thing. I've got another one of these and I did like a salad prep so today all I had to do was take handfuls of the salad and put chicken on top it was so easy this probably isn't is gonna make it taste less good but I'm just gonna use a tin of chopped tomato I'm just hope for the best I really need to take these nails off as well and do my head in I also then have spinach and cloves of garlic Doo -doo -doo. so this garlic here I just get a small chopping board put them in kind of whole once I've taken them out of the skin that we've just chopped one Ow. table salt which looks like this i'm just going to put quite a healthy bit of that on there and i'll taste it later we've got some pepper i'm going to crack some pepper all over it as well and then again later on i'll come back and taste it I also want to put on some mixed herbs. So a bit of everything. Be quite generous with this, like that. And then I'm gonna chuck in some bay leaves. I'm gonna put in two bay leaves as well. Bay leaves, honestly, I didn't realize just how good they were, but they really elevate your food. So if you can chuck in some bay leaves when you cook food like this, I always think of putting bay leaves in either like English really hearty foods or like, Italian foods like spaghetti, but like bolognese and like stuff like this. Like anything that's got a tomato base, I always think bay leaves. Forgot to put oil in, so I'm gonna put that in now. Um, just a little drizzle, just to help it like fry and like cook a little bit more, make it a little bit more tasty. And I'm gonna put a bit in now, and then I'll perhaps see if I can put some in a little bit later. I'm gonna like squish it into the water so it doesn't just burn on the top. So chuck it in there forget about it for 20 minutes if this turns out good this is gonna be a very easy dinner for me to make rob do you know a good way to determine how much pasta a single portion is like from this because i just kind of eyeball it but i'm sure we've all seen the memes that just explain all of our lives i will cook a one person portion of pasta and it will end up feeding me for a week like i don't know how it happens this stuff expands like but in a handful I just don't know what happened. You're apparently meant to put a drop of oil 
in your pasta to stop it sticking. And then I also, you do not have to put this much salt in your pasta, but I like salt, so I do put a generous amount. A few moments later. Oh, it looks a bit funny. I think it's because um, I put too much of the sauce on, but it's gonna be very nice and creamy. It's like a bake, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a pasta bake. Ooh, but oh, but that's what it looks like basically, so. We can try it now. Okay, I've given myself a tiny bowl because I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna like it, but I'm gonna taste. It smells delicious. Well. Mmm, that's nice. Yeah? Yeah. Mmm. I think you're thinking about it too much. Yeah, just I'm trying not to think about it, but a little yeah. bit of a little bit of strength just hit me there. It's literally just garlic pasta, get it down here. It's nice though. Have you mixed two different kinds of pasta in here? Yeah, two different types. I wanted to just get rid of them. This is actually banging. Considering this was the easiest dinner I think I've ever made. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, do you know what this would be nice with? If you cooked salmon and then flaked salmon through it. Oh, that would be so good. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish this.